Rather than tell you how to invest, today I'm just gonna give you my full investing plan for 2023. Now at the end of this video, I'll reveal the number one thing I'm gonna focus on this year to make it my best year yet. All right, so number one is look for cash flowing investments. So many people get caught up on what's gonna gain value or what's not gonna gain value. It doesn't matter. Even if all values come down, what ultimately makes a difference in all of our lives and our day-to-day -day living is how, what kind of income do we get? What kind of income comes off of those investments? That's why I love cash flowing investments. Now, what are those? That could be things like real estate investing, right? Where they're paying you cash flow all the time. Here's a key thing I learned after the last recession. See, the last recession, I was trying to bank on appreciation. I was trying to make money even before the recession hit. I was trying to make money off of whatever things that were out of my control. But the problem was when the values came down, I didn't focus on cash flow. I had properties that weren't paying me even the, the amount that I needed to pay my mortgage. So of course, it's a losing investment at that point and the values are coming down. I can't even get my money back. What happens? I'm lucky to sell out and just break even or I have to put extra cash in just to get out of it. It was a hard, hard time. What I wish I would have done is I wish I would have gone and looked at these properties and said, how can I make sure that there's a profit on this? How do I make sure that it's more than enough money coming from that that pays all my expenses and gives me extra? Because if it's paying for itself and giving me extra, that's an income stream you don't want to cut off. That's money you want to keep in your hands and use forever. That's the difference. I love cash flowing investments. And believe it or not, even right now, there are cash flowing investments that will pay you over double digits, even over 10% a year. So that means if you have $100,000 invested, you're making at least 10,000 a year. Do you want to get rid of that? Of course not. And especially if we do really move into a deep recession starting in 2023, maybe going to 2024 and beyond. If that starts to happen, you will be so thankful you got income coming in all the time. So look for cash flowing investments. Again, things that pay profit. That could even be your own business. But again, look for things that are paying you profit, not just trying to make a big, you know, make a quick buck off of something appreciating or growing like stocks, bonds, even trying to gamble on real estate that way. All right, number two is only invest with experienced operators. See, I tend to stay away from Wall Street. I, I don't like fund managers because they don't know what they're doing anyways. They're just guessing. They don't know the future, right? So I rather invest in Main Street. What's Main Street? That's like real estate, for example. That's what many people refer to as alternative investments. Although they really should be more mainstream investments because they actually work. <laughs> Where we've seen the stock market have been proven not to work. And so I like to invest with experienced operators. Here's the cool thing, guys. Even if you don't know what you're doing in real estate, right? You gotta have a certain amount of knowledge but you don't have to be doing all the work. You can partner with people where they're doing the work, you invest your money with them. Here's the big warning though. The big warning is this, is that in the last few years, everybody and their dog became an, an operator, right? They all became somebody who could take your money and invest in real estate. And they said they're gonna make X percent because they made so much money in the last couple years because honestly, you could be an idiot and made money in the last couple of years in real estate, in the stock market, anywhere, right? Because there's so much money coming in, everybody made money. You don't have to be a genius to do that. But here's the thing, when things settle down, when we start to move into a different kind of market, then you start to see what Warren Buffett said. He said that when the tide rolls out, you'll see who's swimming naked, right? Or in other words, when money's going away or when we move into recessions, you'll start to see the people that really didn't have any clothes, right? The people that really weren't experienced, they didn't know what they're doing, and those are the ones that lose money, and all the investors that were with them lose money too. I like to invest with experienced operators that have had at least roughly about 15 plus years of experience. Why? Because I want people that actually have gone and been through the last recession. I want the, those people that actually were experienced, that learned key lessons there, so that they could take that for you and be able to adapt no matter what happens. They have that wisdom that they gained from those last recessions. Some of them have even been in multiple recessions. Those are invaluable. And I'll even add this little bonus too. It's not just somebody with a lot of experience, it's someone with a lot of integrity. Did they keep paying their investors even when things got rough? Were they coming out of pocket to try to make sure they could shore up and make sure those people got their money back? Even if they didn't get a return, they still got the return of their principal. Those people are invaluable. So find experienced operators to invest with. All right, now this comes to my next point, right? That's kind of more generic. Now let me get a little bit more nitty gritty. What am I watching for this year in 2023? Some of the investments I've been already investing in, and so it, just so you know, you're kind of too late if you're doing this, but you're, at the same time, you're not. But at the forefront, I see oil investments. I, I really believe that oil prices are gonna skyrocket throughout 2023. 
We've seen it come down because why? They're trying to get reelected again. So they're trying to bring those oil prices down by tapping into our reserves in the United States. Well, guess what? We now have less oil than we've ever had before. We gotta start building those reserves back up, which means there's gonna be a shortage, which drives prices higher. Now, you're gonna have to pay more money at the gas pump. That's irrelevant, right? And you can't control that. But what you can control is you can start investing in ways to profit off of those oil profits that are coming in. Because I guarantee they're gonna try to make their money back when they got those prices coming down and it started eating into their profits. They're gonna find ways to bring the balance back again. Oil investments is something to watch for. Now, I'm not just saying any oil investment. I mean, you wanna have, again, experienced operators. You want something to actually focus on cash flow, not just someday returns. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of, really a lot of charlatans in the oil industry. So you gotta be careful. You wanna be sure you're invested with the right people. And again, we're not giving investment advice here. This is just what I'm putting my money into. But I, I know in our group that we have here with Money Ripples, we have over 20 different vetted type of people that we have. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but it means we have a heck of a lot more chance of success than the average Joe that's just trying to hodgepodge, try to figure out how to make it all work together. Uh, and then we have found something that did really good that not only just makes money off the oil investment for the mineral rights, but we make money from the land too. So they're kind of double dipping. We're making money from the land and the mineral rights at the same time, uh, making double digit returns on that, which is great. Again, not guaranteed, but I do foresee that if we start to see oil prices go up, those returns will also increase as well. Another one is self-storage. I think self-storage is making a comeback already. We're already starting to hear whispers of it coming back, but you know, 2022 was a horrible year for self-storage. It was too high-priced, it was overbought, everybody was trying to get it, but now things have settled down, people are starting to come back. I think self-storage units, you know, be able to invest in those places, again, with experienced operators, could end up being very profitable from 2023 going into 2024 and beyond. So I think self-storage is great. Not to mention, self-storage is not recession-proof, but it is recession-resistant. When people tend to downsize, where do they put their crap? They put it in the self-storage units, right? They throw it in there. So self-storage can be a great place, especially if people really do move into recession, they have to downsize their homes or whatever they have to do, their stuff has gotta go somewhere because Americans, we have a lot of crap, don't we? Where's it gonna go? Self-storage. How can you profit off of it? Profit by investing in it then having that asset. Again, real assets are key in 2023. That's why we're looking at real estate, self storage and oil investments. I'll throw out another bonus. I still believe that investment properties are good, but it may or may not be good if you're trying to get a mortgage on it. But I know I've seen some within our group, some properties that if you even buy it in cash outright, you actually make more money. So there are some ways you can actually avoid having to deal with all the higher interest rates right now and still move into doing real estate. Oh, here's another thing too, another little bonus. I do think interest rates will continue to go up this year. That means if you're looking to lock in a 30 year mortgage, now might be better than ever. And by the time you watch this video, you might've already missed out on some of this too. So I think early 2023, interest rates might be the lowest they'll be for the rest of the time. But here's the thing guys, here's two key points to do in general. Even if you don't have enough money for investing, is one, build some cash. Build your cash reserves more. You wanna have a little extra buffer, not just six months reserves, I think even up to 12 month reserves, just in case something happens to your work or your main income stream, you wanna make sure you have extra cash. I do think there are more opportunities, but don't build cash and sit on it completely. I think that you wanna build more of emergency reserves and then get this money working for you where you can start creating cash flowing investments. But ultimately, when it comes down to 2023, here's what I recommend. Whatever you're hearing in the news, Whatever you're hearing from your friend, your coworker, your brother-in-law, your, your cousin that took that one economics class in college and said, hey, I got an A, you should listen to me. Don't listen to those people. Even your financial advisors, whatever they're saying to do, do the opposite. The one thing we've all learned, those are more experienced investors like myself, we've learned that whatever the masses say to do, do the opposite. If they say buy stocks, that's the time to sell stocks. If they, they all say stock market's the way, way to get out of, like get out of stock market, it sucks then it's time to buy stocks again. Same thing with real estate. Many people think that real estate is bad right now, but it's actually the opposite. There's so many opportunities in real estate if you know where to look, where you can still get great, amazing returns. And here's the thing, guys. If you make 10%, I know sometimes we have investments that make much more than 10%, right? But even if you just make 10% on that, but like in 2022, the stock market goes down 20%, guess what? I'm more than 30% ahead of the average person that put their money in the stock market way ahead and so are our clients because they didn't lose money. They built the cash reserve, they did the opposite, they invested in real assets like real estate, self-storage, oil, things like that, and now they're making more money than their former coworkers because why are they former? 
because they were able to retire. They became work optional. They didn't need that money anymore. That's the cool thing, guys, that when you do the opposite, you actually create wealth and you get different results than the average American. And the average American, sadly enough, is paycheck to paycheck. And even when they have extra cash, it's not enough for them to retire and be financially free. You can be financially free if you just focus on buying real assets, do the opposite, build cash, and you can have your best year yet in 2023. Now, if you guys like this video, check out this next one about what to invest in while stocks are down. You'll get a few more bonus tips there too, so check that out.